Disrupt Education, we are here Woo! with Jen Canwisher. <laughs> yes, awesome, we're, we're ready. Um, Jen, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, I grew up as like the theater geek. Um, awesome. At age six, I was in my first play, mm -hmm. played Spider Number Two in The Hobbit, life changing. Awesome. awesome. <laughs> so memorable. You can still remember uh, that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, and like, but I love the dancing to it. Mm -hmm. So, like, we had like attached legs. Yeah. So you and like so that. then I would be like moving. Uh -huh. Yeah. You still have a um, costume? No. Oh. I still wear it. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. <laughs> awesome. Um, and then I got into dance. Uh -huh. And I loved, at first I hated it. Like I felt like I didn't fit into dance class and like I didn't have the body for it. I didn't mm -hmm. feel like I clicked with it like other right. kids in my class did. Mm -hmm. And then freshman year I joined Color Guard, which is in our school, I went to Prospect High School and it's mm -hmm. very competitive. Okay. Um, we did regionals and BOA competitions wow. yeah. and um, it's a whole world, yeah. little world. Right. Right. And, uh, and so I loved it and then my coach hired me a year after I graduated oh, to start cool. coaching there. But that's where my love for dance grew, mm -hmm. and I wanted to go into dance. So I went to Columbia College. So you got hired out of high school? Yeah. Wow. So it was that's it was cool. such a beautiful a opportunity. Yeah. And I got to work with my mentors that trained me, mm -hmm. and I still am, which is cool. Yeah. Um, and then I went to Columbia for two years mm -hmm. as a dance performance major, mm -hmm. and I loved it, loved the training, but I wanted to get my certification in education, so right. I transferred to Northeastern, yeah. where I did uh, physical education with an endorsement in dance, okay, K cool. through 12, awesome. and here I am. That's great. That's <laughs> awesome. I didn't know you were hired right out of high school. Yeah, I That's loved fantastic. it. And my dance teacher at the studio at my, mm -hmm. where I trained hired me to teach, starting with the little kids, and then yeah. I got to teach teach older too so right of, out of high school how much of an effect like were you scared when you came out right out of high school like what was that like because you're like yeah. literally like people probably were on your team yes yeah before and then now you're you're part of a coach Tell yeah us a little bit about that how was that I was fortunate um, I loved the community like and there's no cattiness which is I think yeah. is why I gra gravitated to it yeah. um, and I was supported by my coaches mm -hmm. um, and they were supportive in helping me transition from student to peer mm -hmm. so they did a great job at that oh, that's cool. and uh, yeah so I want to give a I'll, I'll give a little shout out to Dave and Judy Morrison and right. Lorenzo Medrano yes. Yeah. Disruptors. Like, Woo! High school kids. who does that? <laughs> what? Uh, um, that was a great It was so cool. It was so, and it was life changing because mm -hmm. I think if I didn't have that, I might have felt lost. Right. Actually, I would have felt lost. Right. And so I found it. So you got a taste it. of something you wanted to go into before yeah. you actually kind of went into it. Yeah. And you were experiencing it. You know, being the spider and all. But, right, <laughs> this so, is back to the this spider. Is a spider. <laughs> um, but you've done some cool things here at OPRF. Like you've done um, some yoga classes with sports. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about some of the oh awesome, God. like, new things that you're creating with dance and physical education wow. and just the mind and body and, and how it works in the school. Um, well, I found like-minded people like yeah. I found you we sat in the hallway that one we summer hang. we hang <laughs> <laughs> um, but basically I so I love dance but after shortly after having my second child I lost myself yeah. completely so and I wanted to find myself other than the role of being mom which is super important yeah. I think the most important job, but um, I wanted to find my new passion and I didn't feel it with dance. So mm -hmm. I took some yoga yeah. and it was like, oh, I went for the physical, stayed for the emotional. Nice. And then nice. I wanted to teach. So then I got certified at Core Power. Mm -hmm. Represent. Yeah, there we go. Um, and I got two. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but uh, I got two certifications from yeah. there, and now I teach two classes a week. Mm -hmm. um, and I wanted to bring it back to the high school. Yeah. And so, I, and growing up too, the other thing I wanted to do was be like a social worker. Mm -hmm. But my parents always tease me, and I got it. Like, I totally tease myself. Like, I would never be able to handle that because right. I would take it home with me too yeah. much. Yeah. But yoga is a nice balance of like connecting your mind mm -hmm. and your body. And, and it was my way of connecting authentically with students. And and then they were able to process and cope and mm -hmm. and develop a better relationship with me and yeah. 
um, recently um, the football coaches had me come out. Yeah, how and, did that happen? Oh my did they God. just know? They were just like, hey, can we try this? Or did you reach um, out? Or Max, Max Sacalaris. Yeah. He's like the brother I never had. <laughs> and so like yeah. I was, when I got the training, I, it was only training on the brain. And right. he goes, oh my God, do you teach yoga? Like yeah. you only talk about it enough. <laughs> and so it was kind of like that. To be passionate about things. Right. And then he's like, would you ever come in and, and help get our football team flexible? Because mm -hmm. they're all about lifting and cardio, but they never relax or stretch or stretch right. out. So I right. said, sure. Um, and they, they had me come in as a guest mm -hmm. one morning and there were about 60 plus football players. Yeah. Right. And I was like, all right, just be ready. And I told Max, I'm like, all right, I'll leave my weirdness at the door and I'll keep it very basic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and yeah. he's like, yep, that's yeah. perfect. So yeah. target audience. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, and it was great. They were receptive to it. And then later they were talking to their teachers. And then their teachers were coming to me saying, mm -hmm. like, they were saying how relaxed and loose they felt. Right, so right. I mean, you're breaking down barriers, so yeah. many different barriers then, yeah. right? Which is amazing. Um, you know, because I think we were all brought up, especially as male, like the, mm -hmm. the, the vision was, oh, yoga, that's just, you know, yeah. it's easy, weird stuff that we don't know about, so we're going to make fun of it. But right. then once you're in it, yeah, it's... And it takes away gender boxes and yes. stereotypes, right. like men can't be sensitive, men mm -hmm. can't show emotion, men can't do yoga. Right. And yet, why is suicide rate so high for males? Right. Because they... They have to keep. They feel like they have to keep everything bottled up. So yeah. this is a way to kind of break down those walls right. and then create a space for them to be vulnerable. So let's take in that, like, because that, that's just one piece of education. Um, let's look at like high school in general. And I mm -hmm. know you've looked at, um, you've done a lot of research and work with. Uh, behaviorally challenged, mm -hmm. whatever we call that, or people just <laughs> the system doesn't work for us the way I like. Right, right. Um, and how like how you would incorporate physical education or movement into like a high school? What would oh, that look gosh. like? Gosh, like I think dance movement therapy is another angle mm -hmm. um, to have a combination where. Um, and I worked with Avi Lessing on this a lot. Um, so storytelling, movement, storytelling, movement. Mm -hmm. So you tell a story, you do movement. You journal you do movement mm -hmm. so um, I do a lot of interplay workshop material where it's getting into your body but not feeling like you have to look a certain way or move a certain way but right. just move naturally mm -hmm. um, and that came from my mentor um, when I was student teaching but uh, I think too it would be so beneficial to introduce yoga and meditation mm -hmm. instead of in-school suspension right or right. detention mm -hmm. give it as an alternative right. and uh, and I think that would help and some schools are doing that and and incorporating it and it gives kids tools to make better choices right. and to hit the pause button yeah. and just uh, that's just the amazing. I don't know. Like those are things like it's like Freakonomics to me, right? Like, yeah. I'm gonna take <laughs> this that has absolutely I never thought would have anything to do with that. Yeah. Um, I can totally see that. Like you know the the you know I'm gonna try my big SAT where like the kinesthetics, right? Of, yeah. Like movement and and really why are people acting out, right? Yeah. And oh if my you look God, at the core, yeah. we're, we're in boxes all day long. All day long. Right? Except you get maybe that one cool PE class like for an hour or 48 minutes. Or business, or you know, but right. yeah, yeah. But there's moving around and different things like that. Yeah. It's amazing. What's next for you? Oh my gosh. <sighs> I just, I realize, like I tell students all the time, you're approached with what do you want to do the rest of your life mm -hmm. and it's such a loaded question as yeah. if they have to figure it out right then mm -hmm. and there right um i don't know i think i've just learned to get rid of boxes and not censor myself and mm -hmm. just see where things inspire me where people inspire me and gravitate to that mm -hmm. and follow that and um and then I feel like things have naturally worked out that way for me, mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. by doing that. I mean, to find you, to find yeah. people in the building, and then you gravitate towards each other and say, well, what can we do with this? Um, 
I don't know. I just I want to continue to get people to love themselves. Yeah. And it was something that it's something I'm still trying to figure out for me. Mm -hmm. And and to be a type A personality for so long and then to go, no, embrace your imperfections. Yeah. Right. Embrace vulnerability. That's a strength. Mm -hmm. I want to pass that on to, to younger generations. Mm -hmm. Because I think a lot of times we don't know what to do with anger or hurt or rejection yeah. or things all the things that are so hard um, but once we realize that we're all in that struggle mm -hmm. it gets easier to share out right and you've done a great like your Instagram it's at Jen underscore K yeah -N -N. is that right or, uh, what is it I think it's Jen can. You'll find <laughs> Jen it, can yeah. look me up um, two ends two ends yeah <laughs> I think it is so it's an underscore I'm yeah sure it is. yeah and you've done so much <laughs> on there which like honestly like you know there there are a lot of people watching and you put some really cool things up there so oh. thank you so much thank you for what you do appreciate it ah, thanks for being here I love you all right awesome awesome guys we're gonna keep disrupting thank <laughs> you we'll see you next time